Hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon and today we're playing more Resident Evil. The remake of the second game. So we can safely ignore this guy. He's now locked out. Here I'm not so sure about. She's sitting on some ammo. Uh, okay, so tell you what, let's check this first. Oh yeah. No, wait for the red key. Fuckos. Takes a while. Okay. Takes a moment for the red key to fuckos in Nari too. It goes well with the game's slow movement and... Oh god. Oh, wait a second. Did this guy fall from above? I think he fell from above, right? Oh. Yeah, if you wait for the reticle to focus, the, the bullets do extra damage. So you should definitely do that. This is another area where it's not worth uh, running around the enemies, because you're gonna be using this hallway a lot. So killing them is your best bet. I'm gonna check they're both actually dead. He's alive? A, he was alive. Not anymore. Okay, so that cost us some bullets, but it's fine. We're gonna it's gonna make up for damage because we're gonna be going around this area a lot. That's weird. I've never noticed this before. Is that like a armor? A knight or something? So yeah, we're on the second floor. Men's locker room. Let's look around a bit. Oh, that's another red herb. Okay. Let's look what's in here. Ah, okay, yeah. We cannot proceed because this is. It requires a valve to shut down the flow. Oh, God! That made me tense up. He is dead. God damn it. Okay, this requires a code. We don't know the code yet. What about here? I'm not gonna pick this up yet. It's grenade launcher ammo. But I'm not gonna pick it up because inventory slots. Portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order would cause all of the lights to go out and you would need to start the sequence over again. Okay. Portable safe. Yeah, it doesn't seem very, very safe. It seems solvable. So, if you press, it opens the light. But then there was not a correct choice, right? This was not supposed to be pressed first, so it lit off, and now this is up. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. So, this first, then this is correct so far not that so this this not that this this and this okay so let's go again okay damn it okay okay oh come on yes we got it because it even plays Sounds like a toy. Oh. Okay. That's a... A keypad button. Hmm. Maybe... Instead of rushing ahead... Just for the sake of inventory space, right? This is... The, oh. Oh, it's him. 
this is the only reason I'm running back now. I'm not. I, I know we're gonna pass through this area again, and we're gonna have our chance to see what's in here. But so for some reason, Claire will put this on either two or three, and then she cannot move it. She cannot remove it to place it on the other one. So we need to think of what we need. Do we need gunpowder? A knife? No, we need none of that. No gunpowder, no knife. Is there something on this side that we need? We don't need grenade launcher ammo. This would be good, but this requires both of the buttons. Ah, whatever. We'll just place it on two, I guess, and... Yeah, there's nothing really, really useful. We don't require a knife or... Oh! Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else fuck up this badly? <laughs> what? I never quite understood who's supposed to be the jackass that... That is known for destroying things, so he must have destroyed that too, right? I've never quite figured out who it was. So yeah, the guy we fought down there was definitely the guy that was just sitting on the balcony. Probably fell down. Okay, more ammo. Fuck. <laughs> we don't know this one either. Wait, wasn't there supposed to be a, a scare here or something? You could see... Why is it not working? What? What? Yes, yes. Where is the shadows? It's on high, so what's the issue here? So, the way this is sitting, right? You see this doll in front of the light? You're supposed to be seeing a human figure, shadow, here. It's supposed to be spooky. I, I, I don't... Oh, no, it's here. Okay. It's working. It's not as scary as I remembered. Oh, the speed key. Okay. That's gonna be useful. the hell was that? Oh, it's inside. It's inside. Yeah, no, I skipped the door. There's something here, I think. To any survivors, consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but their hearing more than makes up for that. So long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns are blazing, you should be able to slip right by them, probably. Either way, make like my grandma a creep around as slow as possible around them. Yeah? Anyway, not that I wanna go, but duty calls that and I've got a friend to avenge. Okay, so he's saying walk slowly around them when you meet them. This is gunpowder. I'm not gonna pick it up. Oh, that's amazing. The plank... Mm. Okay, I guess. There's not a lot of them around, that's why. Okay. There's a door there. What is this? C4. I guess we're missing something to make this work. Some guy scribblings. 
damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off. After all I've done for them. But if that's how it's gonna be, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set them to some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it and it's sayonara suckers. But it's not fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give them one raving loon. I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what to do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop, so good you had to die. Man, this is fun and some music for this. Wait, superior? Is this the chief of police? Those corporate assholes cut him off, he was sold out, and then he went crazy when they... Oh god, okay, so I guess they killed each other in there. There's one of the statues, yeah, see, this is the emblem, one of the emblems we need. So we need to find something to detonate the C4. I know bullets don't work, I'm not gonna try shooting it. Oh, okay, yeah, because we're playing on normal difficulty, there's a hip pouch here that's not there on hardcore. So, let's pick up the gunpowder too. We have slots now, right? There is space. This guy uh, won't do anything yet. Okay. I hear zombies. There's one guy there. There's one guy right below me there. Okay, there's one that's awake. Claire, it's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why? What's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. Okay. Well, let me see that door first. I'm guessing. Yeah, Marvin is where right next to him? No, west storage room. Oh, that's the first floor, right? So if I go to first floor, where are we now? Wait, what? Uh, library. How does that? I can't remember where that leads. I know this door, I think it leads back to the central area, right? Oh! Okay, so I can't go there. Now, this is another area where we should kill the enemies. Oh, oh, come on, come on. No, 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 no. From behind, too, where I can't, uh... Oh, shit. Okay. Oh yeah, the load is definitely much much faster. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not getting surrounded. I'm not getting surrounded here. Son of a bitch. Okay. Now we need to make sure they're down. Okay, he's definitely down. And then what about him? Still alive? You can die. No? Oh, okay. Not only him, but the other guy is also alive. And I'm guessing he's dead now. Okay. So now this area is clear. We don't have the item yet to use there, but we can do this. Oh. So essentially what we're doing is because that broke, right? So if we want to get into that door, we need to make a bridge using these. We can't move this one yet to finish the bridge, but we can move the others. Wait, what? We 
we can get some ammo. Which we will need. And considering how we're doing. Uh, yeah, there's nothing on this side. So let me use one of my first aid sprays. Get healthy again. Then... Oh, that's a new knife. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, the unicorn. And there's another map here. Police station up the floors map. Okay, sure. What's here? Oh, this, this one is locked. More gunpowder. We can mix this. Considering we have more gunpowder back at the chest, right? So, now... We have this unicorn, it has the emblem, it's sitting in there, we cannot pick it up yet. And we need to input the correct code, right? So, let's see. It's on the first one, right? The unicorn is Pisces, Scorpio, and whatever. Scorpio, and whatever this is. Hermes? Uh, unicorn medallion okay so we've got one out of three a red book let's examine this art object a piece of plastic shaped like a book it looks like it's being held by a hand at some point yeah okay it's probably whatever was okay wait i have no idea what that is yeah it's the book here we need to find the statue to put it in what's this though Dear Claire, first of all, thanks for the letter. Now, if you let me get this one thing off my chest, I can't believe you're really gonna do it. I can't believe you're biking all the way to Raccoon City all by yourself, yourself just as your brother. What the hell, girl? I know Chris means a lot to you, and yeah, you haven't been able to reach him for a month and all, but you're nuts. You know how many perverts and assholes are out there just waiting for a hot, young college student to come along and take advantage of? It's not safe to travel alone. But your mind's made up, isn't it? Fine, I get it. Just promise you'll call when you get to Raccoon City. Don't leave your best of best friend hanging, okay? Yes, your brother may be the Chris Redfield and he may have taught you how to fight and use a gun like the Banshee, but that doesn't make you invincible, so don't get cocky out there. Okay, so I guess this is whoever she was calling at the start of the game, to let them know that she was near Raccoon City. Okay, so let's use the spade key here. Ah. Right, we're on the upper floor, and that's where library leads. Okay. Let's go here, pick up this. Oh, the wind howling. Okay, the lion too. So let's see. Uh, lion, wheat, bird, lion, wheat, or whatever that is, and bird, okay, that's the lion medallion, it's great, well, let's go see what Marvin wants. There you are. Come here. What is it? Take a look. Oh my god, he made it. You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. The second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Second floor, east side. Let's go visit the box fast. Oh, come on, game. So, uh, do I actually want to leave anything? 
I leave this. I leave this. Right, let's go. Oh, come on. What's up with this room? Is it all the lights or what? Something is making this room run horribly. Okay, that's another speed door opened. Ah, it doesn't say that it's... So, when an item, a uh, key item is fully used, it has no further use, it puts a tick on it. Like, wait, let me show you. Oh, come on, I don't know why it's stuttering in this room, guys. Uh, see this? It has a tick on the bottom uh, right. It means that there's nothing else to do with this. So, yeah. I'm gonna hold on to the rest of this junk. I'm just gonna place... Oh, come on. What's this? It's probably the ray tracing. For some reason or another. It never works correctly. Yeah, let's place these. Oh. Okay, so there's... So it's Elliot was right. Clear there's a room down there. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. Okay, I guess that unlocked the mechanism and it needs one more to go through. Okay, let's try something guys, because this is horrible. I know for a fact that if I try to change settings while in game, the game will freak out. And it will be at 5 FPS afterwards for no specific reason. So I'll just go here, here, here. Uh, ray tracing off. And if I go now back into the game, I'm pretty sure this room will be perfect. Ah, yeah, what do you know? It's always the ray tracing, guys. It's always the ray tracing. It doesn't matter what else you have activated, it's always the ray tracing that's not working properly. Okay, so, um, second floor, east side. I mean, the game still looks amazing, right? I don't know. I don't see any difference, really, in this specific regard. I'm sure it's not as accurate. Who cares, really? Looks good. Okay, that's a green herb. I'll take it. Is there anything else around here? Ooh, another safe. Oh, again, we don't know. Okay, so we have one safe in the west office and one in the waiting room. Nothing here. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. The police station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Oh, that's why it looks like this. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. The orphanage. Just a few blocks away from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Okay. It turns a museum into a police station. Oh, and that's what's up with all the weird art. It's probably from before, right? Ah, the spade key. Ah, uh, yeah, see? So now it says it's done. I can discard it. I don't want to. I don't discard anything <laughs> in these games. Okay, so there's two ways to go here. The art room. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, we don't have whatever is needed here. Is there something here? No. My idea. I'll take this, yeah, sure. Uh, let's check the art room. Ah, that's Charlemagne. The red stone. 
The ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince, the pearl that the Queen of the Nile milk dry, the diamond that led the Queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the peel of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there, but dear reader, one would do well to approach with care, for devil they lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Caligula, and we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster steals something in the hearts of people everywhere. Okay. What's this? Oh, that's so we can get the grenade launcher, right? A weapon stuck with keycard. Keycard. Uh, your hand is missing, bro. That's your left arm. Can I place it? Oh, wait, I think I can do this first. Right, left arm with book. And then place this here. Oh. You're giving me this? Thank you. That's what this is all about. Nope. Okay. Looks flashy. Oh, red jewel. Price looking gemstone. So we have a red jewel now. For whatever reason. That's the door we came from, so this is the way we go. Oh. oh. Shit, he's dead. For sure. I think that's where Leon is. Isn't he? He's not there. Hey, Claire. Leon, I'll be right there. Maybe be careful here. Yeah. Stop meeting like this. Are you all right? Police chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. No, I don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I am hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? <laughs> yeah. Did you find your brother? I did, actually. He's... Just when you think it can't get any worse. Oh no. Leon, you should get going. Yeah, that was too noisy. Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to safety. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please just go. We're gonna make it. Both of us. Okay. Marvin? This is bad. I've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin? Oh. Marvin is no longer responding. That's definitely not good. Oh, and the bolt cutters. The cutting tool, I'm sorry. Yay! Okay, so we're back here now. They're still trying to bust through that. Wait, is someone? Yeah, okay. Never mind this guy. We can go in here. Hey, 
close the door behind us. We're gone, I'm sure. So I think he's coming through. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's block this guy. Okay, I think we're gonna have to fight here. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to fight him. I wanna explore this room at my leisure. Okay, so ignore what I said about not having to fight the guys. We're gonna be fighting them so I can explore and show you the surroundings. However, you can go through the game without killing a single enemy, right? You can just run through it. Definitely still alive. Shit. They're never dead the first time they go down. I think he's still not dead. So there's a lot of stuff in here that we cannot pick up because inventory slots. We're running out. There's more here. I'm just gonna take a look around, see what I can find, and pick up only what I really, really need until we can get somewhere to. Oh, there's a fuse here. So, yeah, we're in the east office, and this is where the fuse goes, I think. So we can pick it up and place it there. Okay, this will give us access to uh, the men's locker room thing, and I think that's improved gunpowder for SMG ammo. Yeah, I don't want to combine these. I don't want to I don't want to use any of my stuff right now. So, we're going to do uh, we're going to do this. We're actually going to discard this because okay, whatever. It's not really needed to be held on to. We'll take take this electrical part. These are called electrical parts now. We'll put it here. They should... These are access to this room, but then... It also gives them access to this room. Shit. Yeah, let's take them out. So that they don't wander into our safe area, right? There's also something I want to pick up. Oh. Another donut lover. Oh, no. He's not dead. He is? What? She dead? She's dead. She died too easy. So this door was blocked last time we came through here. They burst out of it. We can pick up another one of these. And some more ammo. And I think that's pretty much all the planks in this entire game. So what we're gonna do now is go back here, see what's up with Marvin. Okay, I gotta hurry. Yeah, okay, he's fine still, just uh, not fine, but you know, not dead. So we're gonna leave some stuff here. We're gonna leave this, we're gonna leave this, we're gonna leave this. We're even gonna leave this for now, right? Just for now. So we have enough inventory space to pick up everything else. So we're gonna go back in here, in here, and we're gonna start loading the place. Some gunpowder here. There's a flask grenade here. It works like a, uh, yeah, a sub weapon, like uh, the knife. Like this. Still trying this window while this window is not even boarded up. Yeah, okay. He can't get through. He just broke the window. Is there anything on this desk? I did notice. No. So we can go in here, pick this up. Handle, yes. Pick this up. 
gunpowder yes let me see oh yeah we still have that to pick up okay and we have now essentially cleared this east side at least what's accessible there's more behind this bar the door the uh, the one that keeps on knocking but it's not accessible yet we'll move ahead So let's sort our inventory. Uh, yeah, I'll just put everything in so I can sort it right this here. So we want this. We want. I'll tell you what I want. What I really want. Do we need this? We don't. I don't think we need this. We probably need this. Well, I carry. I carry this anyway. Okay, this. We have enough ammo. We don't have a healing item, so we might as well pick up. What is the other first aid spray? Sure. And I don't want the grenade yet. So we're gonna use. Uh, should we wait? Yeah, I guess why not, right? It's right over here. We're gonna go through this door. This door, this door, and go grab our thing. Flame rounds and the GM seventy nine. So let's reload it. Okay, so now I have a grenade launcher, which we're not going to be using for a while. That's why I said that I don't have to rush for it. Uh, where did I put it? On two? Uh, wait, yeah, 20 something is more, right? 208 is more ammo. Two oh. Sure. We'll pick this up. I guess we'll carry them for now. We're gonna lose these soon, so then we'll have two slots open. Yeah, okay. So um yeah there's still stuff in here there's the safe in there oh yeah there's ammo in there hmm no we'll go back i don't need to go get it now it'll be there what is this a staircase all oh, right yeah, yeah uh yeah yeah that's the staircase we want to go uh but before we do that, we're going to call an episode here. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.